The Sam's Valley Elementary School reopened today after closing its doors for two days. Cleaning crews disinfected the campus with a hospital-grade sanitizer after the recent death of a key instructional assistant in the kindergarten program. We have two grief counselors here all day today uh, just for uh, the needs that might uh, come up from, from uh, students returning and, and uh, realizing that we have uh, lost a staff member. Jackson County Health and Human Services says the woman who passed away had complications from Group A strep bacteria. Despite hearing concerns from parents, the Central Point School District says families feel comfortable sending their kids back to school. 99% of the communication that I've had with parents and community has been overwhelmingly supportive and positive. The kindergarten assistant was also an employee of Del Rio. The superintendent of the Central Point School District, Samantha Steele, says Del Rio is hosting a celebration of her life at 3 p.m. on Saturday. One of the things that they're doing is asking that people don't give flowers but instead donate to a scholarship fund for her two daughters. Sims Valley Elementary says the vibe at school is solemn but getting back into the routine and getting down to business is a good way to cope with a loss. Kids are kids are good therapy for, for us that work in education. You know, they're smiling faces and, and serving them each day brings joy to joy to us. So it's a it's a great thing just to get try to get back on, on schedule as best we can. Covering your news, Justin Matthews, News Ten.